Perfect conditions, just fire straight at it. What a day for golf this is. After the overnight heavy rains, green certainly yielding, and there'll be some nine holes. To get to five under par, out in, oh, it's going to be 30. To Miss Reed. The whole of this green slopes, it looks like it slopes from front to back, with a little area here where it tilts the other way. And that's a classy nine holes. 32. He's playing with Ogden Phipps the second there, defending the uh, team title, which they won here. Yeah. I mean, just give yourself a tiny bit of room to finish on it. So a great start for Fleetwood. It's normal, yeah. It's normal, no. Mm -hmm. Possibly just hit nine iron up the right, just try yeah, and skip one round. Right. Yes. Yeah. So how he feels about the lie, I was to say 160-ish. Might just see him sawn off a a chippy eight and just try and skid it up there also. So many options the Tour Pro these days, they really can play any shot they want. But the greens are soft as Jamie was saying. So you might just fly this one all the way. Well he's eyeing it down. Yeah, good shot from Fleetwood. Anthony Wall left the hotel with about three sets of waterproofs on so I think he might be sweating a bit out there. Much in this for Fleetwood. Two chances gone a begging for Fleetwood, last two holes. Hoping to get it inside 20 feet, but it will be a good shot because he is completely blind. Go. Coming down from space and not quite making it up the tier, but OK. What you don't want to do is hit a big high flying one and plug it in that bunker on the front left when you've had the biggest break in the world off the tee. Quickly to Tommy Fleetwood, ahead at the 11th, with an outside chance of birdie. Nicely judged. Impressive stuff so far from him. Four birdies, no drop shots today for Tommy Fleetwood. Fleetwood on 12. Oh! It's heading left. I think he'd be all right there. Flag's on the right as well, so it's a good angle if he's got a lie there yeah. for Fleetwood. Easily reachable, 12. Let's have a look at that swing from Tommy, courtesy of Swing Index. Keeps his hips nice and square over the ball. That hip turn doesn't really go till quite late in his swing. Nice short down the grip. Beautiful at the top. And look at that coil, now it unwinds. Stays right behind it. Look at the head position there. Whoa. To Carnoustie and Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, just a pretty full six iron. That's oh, it. Familiar sawn off follow set. through. Such a great strike of the ball, Fleetwood. Came out like a scolded cat, didn't he? Carried 25 yards further than anticipated because he can pitch it well short of the green. And straight into that grassy bank. Just coming across the whole Fleetwood after a chip to here for birdie. Five birdies, no drop shots. Tommy Fleetwood cruising along at Carnoustie. Not his shot, is it? A fade. Fleetwood. Sort of blocked. That's all right. And I thought that was in the bunker or something. That's actually fine. Never much in this, Dom, down the hill. Always feels like it's right to left. I think it probably is, but it, it's very marginal. And they're quite slow, the greens. Only 10 on the, the green speed. So still needs hitting down the hill. No. Fleetwood here, 
Just bound it down, have a good putt from behind the hole for Eagle. Just around the 180 mark, so pretty short. Eagle putt for Fleetwood on the 14th at Carnoustie. Stick. He's had plenty of chances, Tommy Fleetwood. This could have been some round of golf. It is is a great round of golf for six under par, but he's left a few out there. A three wood, Ken, I see before me. You do indeed. A Fleetwood at 15. Yeah, it shows you. Off and tee driver down here. Three wood today, though. Anything really left of the two right-hand bunkers will be just fine. Everything can was left to right towards them, but long way down. Maybe looking to pitch this five yards short of the pin. Certainly one he can go at, the pin on the left-hand side, but long is not his spot to go for. Oh, never left the flag. Just hitting the little upslope and killed it. Beautiful iron shot. He's in number today. I think he was expecting a, louder, a round of applause after that shot. To 15 and a birdie part for Tommy Fleetwood. at Carnoustie. Yeah, could have been three or four better off, isn't he? Couldn't be Tommy Fleetwood. You've got to hit the shot. So easy to miss this one left for Fleetwood. I think that's where he's hit it. Anthony, no, he hasn't. He hated that on the tee. That's pretty good. Well, Tommy, there's a little bit left of the flag, but oof. a lot of people will take that. Fleetwood for a birdie on 16, just under the slope. Hated the tee shot. Is he going to like the putt? Just jumped a little bit there. It was a wide, Tommy. Yeah, scratch your head on that one. It's going to be a beautiful evening at Carnoustie. Blue skies. Just a hair of breeze into. Not much, really. So good out here. Another cracking iron shot from Fleetwood. And this is a prime example, Jamie. Right to left, definitely straightens towards the end, but it just feels right to left all the way. Interesting to see whether he reads this right. It's quite a difficult putt coming down this green. Pulled that straight off the bat. Fleetwood didn't read it. <laughs> Good work to do there. Down the breeze at 18. This has seen some things. It's even seen Wayne Riley hit five iron here once upon a time. Such a daunting tee shot. Three bunkers down the right. Water left. To continue this flawless round of golf, he really could have had anything today. He's been absolutely magnificent. Watch out the rest of the field, I think, this week with Tommy Fleetwood. Skip it, one. Skip it. Trying to hold that off, Fleetwood, here at 18. Pretty good job. Twenty seventeen, sixty-three holds the course record. Tommy Fleetwood trying to close out with a birdie here. Yeah, just a hair of left to right in this in the midsection. This for one really good round of golf to start his week, Fleetwood. A flawless round from Tommy Fleetwood. Six birdies, no drop shots. And he's in pretty good shape, isn't he?
probably six birdies and no bogeys in a round of 66. We enjoyed watching it. What was it like from your point of view? Yeah, it was good. Um, like uh, we got a much better day than I think we expected when we were when we were warming up on the range, um, and then got through the first three holes, and then it kind of calmed down. And uh, it was it was a beautiful day to play golf. Like I played solid, um, hold some putts. I'd like to have done a bit better on the back nine, really, because I played pretty well and just couldn't. Um, you know, make anything else drop. But I, you know, I've got through Carnoustie. I think it's a course that I really like. Um, I love playing here. I feel like a lot of shots fit my eye. So, um, you know, I always enjoy coming back to play. Like six under felt pretty smooth really today, which was nice. Twice runner up here, five top fives in total in just nine starts. How big is the feel good factor coming back to this championship? I always just feel very comfortable. Um, fortunate that I have Ogden with me every year. Like, you know, I have the same partner, we feel good, we've got good energy. Um, I've played well on the courses, I feel like um, I do a lot of things well on these Lynx courses. So uh, I, you know, I, I do always enjoy coming back and it's always an event where I um, you know, feel like I can put up a good challenge. And yeah, I've had a lot of good results, but I've also played nine times and I haven't won it yet. So um, I kind of want to put that right. We will wish you luck with that quest this weekend. Thanks, Tim. Thank Thanks. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.